Hello my dudes, welcome back to my second channel. I'm Tiffany. This is Tiffany Ferguson Vlogs, aka not the- I don't do that many vlogs, but sometimes. One of the things I do on this channel are my Newly reviews, in case you haven't seen them. Newly is a clothing rental service for kind of everyday wear or special occasion stuff, and usually it is $80 a month for six items. I have gotten many discount codes thanks to you guys using my code, so this month mine was $20 off, which means it was $60, and for some reason I got two free items. I don't know why. So this month I got eight items for $60. I primarily use Newly mostly for videos because I like to have different things to wear, but this month I, okay, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, regret most of my choices. This is for January 2020 and I was thinking that I could wear these outfits in some graduation pictures. So that did not happen. I still have not even worn my cap and gown. Um, I was thinking like I want nice pictures of me in like something, something a little professional, who knows, maybe got some new headshots. Haven't thought deeply about organizing a photo shoot, socially distant, COVID safe, definitely not going outside anytime soon because there was just a blizzard in the last two days. So that's why none of this happened. I might just wait until the summer when I can go outside and wear the clothes that I want and have Nathan take the pictures because winter graduation Nobody told me this would be difficult. Anyway, this is my first item. Hello. I put on some shoes with it because it's a little long. I never wore this one because I did not have an occasion, but it's a jumpsuit. I think it fits nicely. That was the one thing I was concerned about with a lot of these items was, is it even going to fit me? Can I even wear it? Uh, this is not fully zipped up right now because the zipper gets a little stuck and I'm alone and I don't want to be trapped in this jumpsuit all day. I've got other items to try on. But let's talk about this one. This is the Laced Jumpsuit from JOA, size small. For your reference, by the way, whenever I talk about sizes, fuck sizes, but sometimes it is helpful to know if I happen to be a similar body size shape to you, maybe if you want to try this item out, whatever. Um, <laughs> retail price $100, newly priced $38. So Newly lets you buy items if you want to keep them, and it's at a quote unquote discount. Debatable. It is a discount technically, but still pretty pricey. So what do I say about this jumpsuit? I mean, it fits my boobs. It fits okay everywhere else. I mean, it's stretchy. It's comfy. Look at this. I mean, I'm not flexible, but this jumpsuit is. <laughs> I don't know how my second channel became a fashion channel, but hello, we're here for it. I wish that I could add like a belt to this, like a teeny little belt, I just feel like that would be nice. But what I am gonna add are two items that I also got in this newly. I got two blazers, actually two red blazers. Every month when I look through the whole newly catalog to try to see what I wanna try or what I need for the month, I, there's always an adventurous piece <laughs> and this box is mostly that. Let's see if these go nicely. Again, I was thinking, ooh, like, I would love a suit. That's a look. That's a, I'm a young professional, I just graduated with a BA in media studies type of look. And honestly, I want content for my LinkedIn. So I found a lot of these plaid blazers and some of them come in sets. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that, I just looked for the pockets and there are none. That's a point off, <laughs> excuse me. I wore one of these in one podcast episode. I don't think it was this one. This is the Fenya blazer from Sicily Copenhagen, size small, retail price $539. Wow, newly priced, <laughs> here's your 44% off, $301.83. That's a no. How does it look though? I haven't really even looked at it in the mirror, so I don't know. I'm just trying to stand as far away as I can. Can you hear me? How do I look? I mean, it's okay. I feel like the arms are slightly short for me. I don't think it's my favorite. And I never got to wear it. And I never got to take my headshots in it. So what was the point? There was none. Sometimes people comment on these videos and say that I'm wasting my money or blah, blah, blah. Which like, yeah, it's my money to waste. Sure. It's an experiment in fashion. Anyway, this is a Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Never know how to say that. Don't care. Ooh, a Ralph Lauren blazer. 
Oh, this one. Oh, this one has the more powerful shoulders. You see that, bitch? Did I just time travel from the 80s? <laughs> Perhaps. Except my hair is flat as shit, and that would not fly. I definitely prefer this one. A lot of people in the reviews, sometimes people post their pictures and their little reviews, which are very helpful, again, for sizing tips and also what things actually look like on people rather than models, who we all know are not people. They're superhuman. Oh, that thing looks like shit on everyone except you. Cool. It's your job to make it look good? Hmm, cool. Anyway, we love the models. I love this one, especially, again, that's why I went for the jumpsuit. I was like, wow, you get the pants and the top. Ooh, a low cut. Hello. I usually don't wear anything this revealing. Maybe because I usually have a bit of chest acne. I usually prefer a high neckline. We don't have to talk about it. I know I brought it up. Anyway, I like the flexibility. It's decent. You always have to check the movement. I don't know if anyone buys an item and doesn't do this, but if so, you're missing out. It's pretty comfy. Um, I'm sad now that I didn't get my chance to wear it. Oh, as the reviews were saying, I forgot. This is like a red and green plaid. So obviously a lot of people wore it for Christmas. If you're looking for like a fancy Christmas outfit. So like I missed that, but I wore it for a podcast episode. So, okay. Oh wait, details. This is the Tartan Blazer from Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 4P Petite. I don't think the size I wanted was available, but I am technically petite in size height, stature, um, and yeah, if it's, well, I don't have any complaints. Retail price $255, newly priced $122.39. $122, see, again, I'm like, I don't know how much business wear costs because I'm a YouTuber <laughs> and me putting on a blazer feels like dress up, but well, I guess this is why I like to rent clothes because anything that costs more than, I mean, more than $50, I'm like, ooh, more than 100, I'm like, wow. So like, you really have to convince me to spend more than that. But also I don't have a need for business wear at this moment, though it's one of my favorite types of clothing. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Thank you, blazer. Wish I could have blazed in you more, you know? <laughs> Should I take a, I could do a, well, I was gonna say a Zoom photo shoot. I know those are a thing, virtual shoots. I could do like a little, I could literally just do a screenshot of this right here. So I'm nervous now. What about this? Ooh, <laughs> a little bit of that. Oh, tragic. Wow, Ooh, okay. Let's move on. Next item, these pants. Hello world. What the frick is up? Absolutely. Okay, ooh, they're tight, yes. <laughs> Okay, let's just read about them first and then we'll talk. These are the Gingham Goals Pants from Capulet. Size small, retail 150, newly price 55.30. I've been looking for gingham pants, plaid pants for a long time. I've wanted that perfect pair, but they tend to be tricky for some reason in terms of material and fit. And clearly these, these are no exception. Look at that butt. It's, very smushed. So, size small, too small, not obvious. I mean, I was just glad that they could actually zip and close on my body. I have an issue with pants sizing, and this is why I usually don't dare to try to buy pants online, and almost every time that I've gotten pants on Newly, they don't work out. I think traditional pants, especially high-waist pants, assume that you have, you know, a certain waist to hip ratio, a smaller waist, bigger hips. Again, none of this is like me talking down on my body. I just want to explain how these pants don't fit me because they're designed for pretty much one body type and that's annoying for almost everyone. So usually I'll find pants that fit me pretty well all through the leg and hips, but then they are too tight on the waist or if I can find ones that fit me on the waist, they're baggy throughout the leg, which I usually like. I do like baggy pants, but sometimes I want them to at least be nice and tight or tighter, at, like on my butt and my hips, and then like a looser leg. Sure, we love a flare, we love a mom jean, we love a boyfriend jean. I think I wore these one day because I wanted to. If I recall correctly, we went grocery shopping and like just walking and standing, they're okay. Tight, again, tight, but like, look at this. I can't, ow. And again, that's the pants, not my legs, but I'm not very flexible either. <laughs> Try to do a wall squat in these? Not gonna happen. Try to reach to the ground? No. 
However, I really do like the design. I would love to have a pair of green gingham pants, gingham goals, in fact. So I might, if they have a medium available in my next box, I might try them again. It's probably not gonna work out because these pants don't really have any stretch and like I need a certain amount of stretch to work, you know? And I mean, the crotch situation, I don't think these are terrible. Some pants really don't work, but these ones at least, <laughs> we'll see when I look back on the footage. It's not that bad, it's okay. The booty, again, they're tight on my butt. In the way I want them to be, I don't know. So thank you pants, but it's not happening. Okay, let's check out these bad boys. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I hope you guys can see. They are some flowy, flowy pants. They're an interesting material. I don't have the words to describe because I have such limited knowledge of materials. I guess they are like a dress pant material. They're definitely this like funky, again, can you even see the bottom of them? Shorter in the back, no, <laughs> wrong. Shorter in the front, longer in the back. What is that called? There are skirts like that. Another thing I was really excited about, even just being able to zip up and fit into, when I tried my stuff on. When a new Newly box is delivered, I am so excited. I immediately try everything on and I am either very excited or very disappointed. And so, yeah, these ones, I was excited that they fit and they are comfortable. <laughs> I, again, was imagining I might wanna wear them in some sort of ensemble for some potential grad photos. Didn't happen. I wore them a few times, mostly just around the house because that is all that I do. I started to wear them as like a lounge pant, which they're not like perfectly flexible. So like they do have their limits. Gets a little tight here, but they're so fun. I wish you could see my legs better because they're so fun. And for some reason, like the little swish every time you're walking just feels so fun, dare I say. So yeah, I enjoyed them, but didn't get much use out of them. That's the theme of today's video. These are the Zinnia Flare Trousers from Anthropology, size four, petite. Glad I was able to get the petite because of course things are still pretty long on me. I've got short legs and I am a rather short being. Retail 130, newly priced 63.69. Would I pay 60 bones for these pants? No, I wouldn't buy them because, you know, don't need. <laughs> and that's it, you know? And our next item, this is a fake wrap dress. I don't know why I'm angry because I'm the one who ordered it. I love a wrap dress, but only when they're actually functional because the point of a wrap dress for me is to be able to fit things exactly to my body. I mean, again, this fits and she's cute, I think. I think because I haven't worn her, so I wouldn't really know. Why did I get this? Interesting question. Was this perhaps another grad photo outfit idea? Yes. Um, what the hell was I expecting? There's no way I would wear this outside, even with tights, even with a coat. It would be too damn cold. So, I don't know. As you can see, it's very um, low, forgetting, low cut. <laughs> oh, the cut is low. The sleeves are like too long for me so that doesn't look that great when they're like a little bunchy but it is very comfortable it's very slinky like i wish i could wear this to like a sexy night out in the post pandemic world god i want to drink a glass of wine <laughs> i mean i could have done that <laughs> i should have worn this i should have had a cute in apartment date night with Nathan and I could bust out the dress and be like, hello, baby. <laughs> That's exactly how I talk to him. Hello, baby. Pour me a glass of wine, please. I'm going to sit at the bar in my dress. Anyway, um, there's not that much to say. I am wearing my chunky shoes that I've worn with all these outfits so far. I've got my unmoisturized winter legs going on. Is this a little long? I feel like when I tried it on, I thought it was a little longer than I would usually like, but I'm only looking at it in the viewfinder, so can't really tell. Anyway, oh, details. I make these videos way longer than they have to be, but we have fun here, right? This is the Parissa, Parisa wrap dress from Paige, 
Size small, retail $249, newly priced $139.44. Ooh, that's a price. Ooh. Well, this dress is not perfect for me, and I had no occasion to wear it, so sorry, newly. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. <laughs> so let's keep on changing. That's me walking away from my date. Me walking away from my date with my, my wine glass in my hand when I usually carry it like this, but you're supposed to carry it by the stem, and I just go... Au revoir. Au revoir, bitch. Okay, anyway. Oh, by the way, forgot to mention my jewelry that I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Ana Luisa Tiffany earrings, designed, co-created by me. I love wearing them backwards. I've talked about this before, but they're usually turquoise, if you can see. Sun and moon, mismatched. You can also remove the charms or you can wear them backwards. And I love wearing them backwards because then it's just plain gold and it's a little more customizable. This necklace, my sweet parents got me a little grad gift. Uh, this little ring with my birthstone in it. Oh my God, my hands are so dry. This blizzard has ruined me, ignore that. <laughs> but the little ring also came with some free extras, including this necklace, which has a feather. I can't see in the viewfinder. Jesus. A feather and a little stone. So I thought I'd wear it today. Okay, really. Bye. I've got to go. See you later. <laughs> Love ya. Um, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not ready yet. How embarrassing. What the hell is happening? Oh no. <laughs> this is actually my first time wearing this because what the fuck is happening? It's hot. My heater's turned on. I didn't even ask them to. And now nobody's helped me to zip up this dress. Okay. Um, again, I like taking risks. I'm, I'm wild. Sometimes I have one more item left in my newly and I go, frick it, I'm gonna get that dress. And this was one of those dresses. It's a high-low, that's what I forgot. High-low, very simple name. High-low dress. It's got a high neck like I enjoy. It's got some funky sleeves. It's a little tighter at the waist. And okay, here's the thing. I kind of like it. <laughs> I always see people review these dresses on Newly or sometimes in like fashion halls, people will talk about dresses like this, like long, long sleeved, up high dresses, and they'll call them very matronly. Like, mm, I thought it was cute and then I put it on and I felt like a matron, I guess. <laughs> And for some reason, I'm very drawn to these types of dresses. I like, I like a, matr a matronly dress. I am, when the hell was I thinking of wearing this in my grad pictures? What kind of vibe was I going for? I need a stylist. I'm gonna take my grad pictures in like two years when it's safe and, um, <laughs> and I'm gonna get a stylist and they're gonna tell me exactly what to wear. And it's not gonna be during the winter, so that's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, for some reason, I kind of like this. I mean. Looking up close, I do love the color. I love a fall, fall, which again, like this was not the time to buy this. This would have been almost a great like autumn-y dress, like not quite Halloween obviously, but I mean, if I did wear it on Halloween, I could be like, guess what I am, a matron. What's a matron, a mom? Anyway, yeah, um, this is the first time that I've put on the dress because when I first went to try it on, I literally got tangled and stuck on the inside because this includes its little under slip dress. And I was trying to get it on and I got stuck and Nathan tried to help me and then I just took it off and it was too stressful. So I'm glad I was able to put it on for you guys. I kind of want to wear it for the rest of my day. What if I just wear this when Nathan comes home and I'm like, hello, partner. Sounds like a Western. Hello, boyfriend. Hello! How was work, sweetheart? It does feel, I will admit, a little bit House on the Prairie, but like like a Bridgerton version of House on the Prairie, where like, instead of wearing like a plain cotton dress sewn by your mother, you'd wear like a very ornate, like not very functional, high-low dress, you know? A little modern adaptation, where everyone goes, oh, she's so matronly, oh my! Anyway, yeah, I, dare I say, I wanna wear this for the rest of the day. But my struggle is, I have one last item. Oh wait, I didn't even talk about this yet. This is the Mirador floral dress from Just Female, size extra small, retail 320, newly priced 156.80, woo! Oh, I forgot, I can't wear this for the rest of the day because I have to return my newly. I gotta go to the UPS store. 
I have to go outside. That's actually really disappointing. Just wanna swish around the house casually as I do, of course. And the last item is this turtleneck sweater. If you saw my closet clean out video, you have already seen this. A lot of people were asking where it was from. So now I will tell you it's from Newly, and I'll tell you the brand in a second. Um, I'm currently wearing it with this pair of mom jeans, which honestly is not, not the best combination. I don't know why I chose these pants, but this is a very comfy, cozy, chunky, very turtleneck sweater. <laughs> It's so hot in here right now, woo, suffering. I chose it because I don't usually wear many pinks and I thought, ooh, that might be intriguing. And it has been fun to wear it through January, wear a little pink, feel a little, a little cute, a little romantic even, I don't know. This is the Paradise Pullover from Rue Stick, Rustic, cool brand. Uh, size small, retail 169, newly 111.53. And again, yeah, I enjoyed it. This was definitely the one item out of this entire box of eight items that I actually got a lot of wear out of. I wore it many times. The one thing is, if you can see, like there's a little part where the, um, the chunks <laughs> had pulled apart a little bit. So it kind of looks like there's like a dark stain on it, but it's just a gap in the um, weaving. So that was a little bit of a shame, but again, I've been pretty much at home or just in the grocery store in this, covered in my big puffer, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching another Newly review video. Of course, in the future, if and when I do more Newlies, I'll be here to question my choices and explore the joys of clothing rental, the regrets, the successes, the surprises. It's oddly emotional. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, stay tuned. Okay, thank you so much. Leave me a comment. I need validation. Which of these items was your favorite? Okay, thanks, bye.